Gavin Sini actually, he's around uh, 15th place. A million miles off now, Gavin nope. Sini, is he? He's in 20th according 20, to our timing yeah. screens. And that's the time he was. Schwartz power then. The head rocking and rolling. Dubow likes that left hand line on the way back down towards the arena. Sam Gaze though, in those blue sunglasses, shirt, slotting in behind Nino shirt, or looking ominous, the world champion in the number 29. Sam Gaze, uh, he didn't do the rounds in uh, Leokong even last week. Uh, of course, European Championship was not for him. So uh, he must be a little bit fresh. Schwartz Bar then leads him across the line, free to go, but Nino Schurter makes that first right-hander first. Free to go. Yes. See here the riders close together. Let your Havili, Blevins, Blooms, Aldridge. Chitra Grot, 20th place now, who won here last year. Won here the last year. end of the year. season in the finals. Ahead of Alan Havili when he didn't take that title. Natalie now having a good race. The South African champ jersey is wearing the white. And the rider. Sure, are turning the screw a wee bit at the front of this one. Schwarzbar is not in far contention to both. Big swerve round there. Really awkward section up through the rocks, but Sure, who leads them on the base of this climb again. Yeah, out of the saddle now, pushing hard to the highest point of this course. Here he comes. Serious attack. So Pierre Pomar here in the green jersey of Bea race or Bea factory team. You know, sure, yet to win a short track World Cup in 2023. Is the season going to be the day he opens his account? Back into the descent of the four cross course. Part of the short track course it is. Yeah, grip level's not looking too bad out there. As I say, it still is raining, but it's pretty light now. So I don't think this track will deteriorate much more. It's just a case of getting churned up by the racers. It's really doing the damage. The pace is still high in the front. Yeah, of it's a matter of time now before we see a, a real attack of one of the riders. And across the finish line, two more laps to go. And we normally that's the time to uh, put the hammer down to find the, uh, the, the final positions you, from there. Uh, the, UK's, the UK's Charlie Aldridge has the fastest lap at the minute, just ahead of Avancini. Impressive uh, on such a young age, performing uh, so good in short track racing. Yeah, the European short track champion. Sam Gay is in the white jersey with the rainbow stripes of the world champion. Still in around the front of this one. There is Aldridge in that European champion's jersey. Also Thomas Griot, teammates of uh, Lucas Schwarzbauer in the purple kit. He's in the top eight as well. That is a who's who of the top 20 of the elite men in the world. Heading out onto the penultimate lap now, lap seven. Haverly just Lots shaking the head still now also coming to the front. He's, he's in the top eight. Matthias Flukiger's looking good here as well, Bar. He's right at the front of this one. Yeah. There is Avancini. Henry Avancini, yes. In the Brazilian jersey for Caloi. Avancini. Always strong in short track racing. And here we see Lars Foster in the red kit, the Red Bull helmet, and with the number four on his bike coming to the front. Oh, yeah. Schwartz Bar just putting the elbow to Flukiger. Flukiger, a little wave of apology there almost. I think it was apology. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's not uh, on purpose to buy, to buy to do it, but at least he was a little bit upset. I would like to upset uh, Lucas Schwarzbauer in full flu. <laughs> Defoe, though, still with him in the blue for Rock Rider Ford. There is Matthias Flukiger, the tongue comes out. We know you're trying hard when the tongue comes out. And then the lead behind him on fifth place. Pierre de Fuma, Jordan Saru, Sam Gates. They're all there. An absolutely thrilling short track World Cup race heading towards the penultimate stanzas it's here still and still Nino Schurter who's leading still anyone's guess all these riders very close to him everyone favoring that inside line to set them up for that double jump before the double on the top of the table top with double back off again in the big table but also especially here in the uh, in Valdi Solid the start for Sunday cross country race you have to be in the first few rows because yeah. there is a bottleneck after uh, like uh, 500 meters and riders they know it so they're, they're really fighting also for a good race for Sunday Schwartz bar then in the red and white behind Nino Schurter in the black and white ahead of Dubow in the blue and that's Juan Mott in the green that's probably why uh, Nino is pushing uh, so hard right now because technically that, that's not the best what he's doing 
least he's feeling so strong. Nino Scherter just cracking on at the front of this one. Yeah, he does. He was fourth last time here in the short track race. Fancy's going a good few steps to the podium higher this evening. But to keep this pace so high for another lap, that will be something incredible. Strong. Now, coming into the last straight, and then one more lap if it was the finish line. And you see now the pace is high, the field's a little bit thinner at the end. There's more gap. There is Gears just giving himself a bit of room. Flugiger in the red, the head rolling on the number seven. Jordan Sruder, BMC rider now with the number one coming to the front. The overall points leader in the short track, Jordan Saru on the right hand side, but it's Lucas Schwarzbauer who leads him in that right hander for the final lap now. Matthias Flugiger now on third place, and Marcus Blum is one of the last riders here of this leading group. It's business time in Val de Sole Trentino. It's the final lap of the UCI mountain bike cross country short track, Olymp short track World Cup, and it's Schwarzbauer who leads him at the bottom of this climb. Yeah, Josh Medibo is second place, then Matthias Flicker on third place. At the bottom of the last climb of There's the race. There's Scherter, Scherter moving into third now. Yeah, 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 coming inside of Matthias Flicker. They have been battling before in a situation like this. This Different rock, lines. This rock garden could be key. Schwarzbauer from Dubo leads them out of it. And now we're long spin to the top. Schwartz Bauer out of the saddle, tap in the power on up this one. Flukiger in third place, Saru's behind him, Sherman. And this will hurt in the left. Nino Scherter going riders. backwards now, Nino Scherter. The, the pace is too much for him at the top of this one. Yeah, he had a from Walter, good finish now here on top. Alan Hedley. But Schwartz Bauer, Dubot, De Foimont. He had a from on third place. Then we have Hedley on fourth. Schwarzbauer making a good case to take the win here. With a small gap, Josh Medibo in second place. It's coming back to, together. It comes down to a sprint. Yeah, look back over the shoulder. Yeah, Dubo joins Schwarzbauer at the front of this one. Just these long off camber turns now. Where's Sam Gase? Jordan Saru. It looks like these two could be contesting it on a sprint finish yeah, here yeah, in here Italy. The, here from all, Ellen Hetley, Jens Schuermans, that are uh, the top three, chasing hard. Schwarzbauer, Schwarzbauer kicks. Him. Schwarzbauer goes, he's not hanging around, he doesn't want to take it to the line, he wants to start a sprint now. The horsepower of Lukas Schwarzbauer. Well, we've used it before, but whatever the German for horsepower is, it could well be Schwarzbauer as he rounds the right-hander, Lucas Schwarzbauer for the Canyon Collective. It looks like Hetherley now is coming to Joshua Di Bose, printing for the second place. Schwarzbauer takes them down the line and look at the celebration. He knows how good a performance that is. Lucas Schwarzbauer takes the win in Val de Sole ahead of Alan Haverley from Joshua Di Bose, from Pierre de Flo